Hello guys, welcome back to the 7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the difference between the beam and the joist. These both are the horizontal structure member used to take the load and to transfer this load to the columns and then to the foundation. So I will try to explain the difference with the help of this figure. Let us consider that this is any building with the slab. You can see here the slab is being provided there in the 2D member and these are the columns. Yeah, the column columns so now to explain the difference between these two let's consider that this building is a very long span building the joists are mainly provided where there is a long span building and you don't want to provide the column in the center of this building you don't want to provide the column in the center of this building but what you do you provide the joist to avoid the column in the center of the building because of the architecture view. Architecture don't like to have a column in the center of the building. So what we do, engineers design the floor slab system with the help of the joist. So now the joists are being provided throughout the length of the slab. These are called as the joists. These are horizontal members like the beams. They are exactly the same as the beam. Their purpose is same as like the beams, but the only difference is that their cross section is small as compared to the beam. They have small cross section not like the beams while the beam have big cross section. So you can see here they are provided throughout the length of the slab with a small spacing between these slabs and they are mostly provided in the long span buildings where you don't want to provide your column in the center of the building. So what you do? You design the joist for this slab. You place many small beams throughout the length of the slab and then you place the beam along its perpendicular position. So the whole load being transferred in a different way. This is the load transfer way. The load was taken by the slab and then being transferred to the joist. There are many joists. You can see here these are horizontal member. These are called joists. And then the joist takes the load and transfer it to the beam. And you can see here this one member is the beam here. Which takes the load of all the joists. And then beam transfer the load to the columns. And similarly columns transfer the load to the foundation. As we can draw the foundation here. So you find out the difference that the joists are also the beam but they are small in cross section and they are provided throughout the length of the slab in many numbers like you can see here there are like eight joists has been provided in this slab it may it may depend on the design how your long span of the slab is and after the providing the joist your load should be transferred to the beam which is also the joist like member but you cannot call is joist because it is big in cross section and it takes the load from the joist and transfer it to the column. Hope you guys understand that joist is not same like beam. It is small in cross section and we provide in many numbers throughout the length of the slab. While beam is big in cross section and it takes the load of the joist and transfer it to the column. This was all about the beam and joist. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.